Hello everyone, Colin Cadet here for Woodwork Web. Today I'm going to do a topic I've been ignoring for a long time, so today's the day we're going to cover it. And I can tell you, if you already own and use whole saws, this is going to be a very important video for you. If you don't know anything about whole saws, it will be equally important, but if you already own whole saws, you'll want to stick around and see what I've got up my sleeve today. So when I talk about hole saws, this is what I'm talking about. This is a hole saw and you can see they come in different sizes and they all have some kind of an arbor with a drill bit into it and they have a couple of different mechanisms. That's the way this one um, changes bits and I have right now an inexpensive and a bit more expensive. When I talk about hole saws, some people think I'm talking about jigsaws. Yes, you can cut holes with a jigsaw, but when I talk about hole saws, this is what I'm referring to. Now, since I was just talking about this one, I want to show you this is a very inexpensive one. I should have thrown it out, but let me show you why uh, it's not the best purchase always. Like all kinds of tools, there's good tools and there's tools that are maybe more disposable. This is one of the more disposable ones and they make these out of mild steel. They sell them very inexpensively. They're probably good for one time use. The problem with them is they're very narrow here so they only cut sort of up to three quarter inch material and they don't do it all that well. But I want you to watch the end of this one. That's what happens with mild steel. It's bent and you cannot drill a hole with a, an arbor that's bent like that. So I'm glad I didn't throw it out so that you can see what it looks like. So let's move on to a little bit better quality, a little bit better quality arbor here. And these again have different size bits and the way they work there's thread in here and there's thread in here but you'll notice there's also some pins in here and they need to fit into the holes on there so the way these work you back off the pins on the arbor you screw it in to until it comes close to the end and then you have to look and try and line up if I can do it without my glasses on. And then you have to line up the little holes so that those pins come through. And when they do, that's now locked. Now let's go and drill a hole with this. I've installed a bit in my cordless drill. And cordless drills, uh, <laughs> hole saws can be hard on cordless drills because they're running on batteries. You might want to use corded drill if you're doing a lot of drilling. So I've just got some thin material because uh, these will obviously go through whatever the thickness is, but we don't want to, we don't want to spend all that much time drilling. So let's just do one small hole to start with. Okay, and there's the first problem with hole saws. If you've got to drill a lot of holes, you have a plug to get out. And these can be a bit of a bear to pull out. Now, you can use screwdrivers, and that's what the holes here on these four are pulling. You, if it's a big, long plug, they can be really hard to get out. You can disassemble them. You can put screws in the, in the bottom and pull them out with pliers. You can disassemble them like this and take them apart and oh, I have to unscrew the whole thing and then push the plug out that way. But you can see it's a little bit of a chore. Look at what Freud has invented. So this is the f new Freud hole saw arbor. It fits in the drill just like every other arbor. But when you go to attach a bit, watch this. That's it. It's all ready to go. To take it off, you pull a collar back and it pops off just like that. If you need to replace the drill, which happens from time to time, uh, they get dull or sharpened or broken, it just pulls out that easily. 
That's the new Freud hole saw mechanism. Now let's give it a try. Now the same problem happens with this, but watch how easy it is to get the plug out. You pop the bit off and you just have to push it through. And that's it. It's ready to go for the next hole. It's that simple. The little ones are fairly easy to get out. It's the deep ones that are the problems. Well, now I know all of you who have hole saws are going, okay, so what's the big deal here? Now I have to go out and buy Freud Arbor and Freud Bits. No, you don't. Look at what Freud has done. They have marketed just the Arbor, and for all of us who have hole saws, and we already have an investment in bits, when you buy just the quick release arbor, it comes with a couple of quick release adapters. And of course, these bits come in two different sizes. It's got a small thread, remember I talked about the thread in there, and they have a large thread. So now we take our existing bits, you just screw the quick release adapter in there, put that into your drill, and now you have a quick release using your existing bits. It's amazing. It's a great little invention. And what a quick way of getting your plugs out. You know, hole saws, the peskiest things with hole saws are getting those plugs out. And now you can just unplug it and push them out. It's absolutely amazing. Let's use the old bit and try it. Look at that, it's all ready to go again. Well, and I also have this monster uh, six inch uh, and I'm definitely going to need my corded drill for that. These are typically for doing duct work, um, bathroom venting, kitchen venting, that sort of thing. Uh, what I want to use this for is I have some ideas that I want to work on my dust collector, which of course has bigger, uh, um, bigger venting on it. So uh, that's kind of the idea that I had behind this. Uh, what I like about these, they're nice and deep. Even the be some of the better quality ones are, you know, there's quite a difference in depth on this. And this will, is, I think, designed to go through the gyp rock or the drywall plus two by four so that it'll sort of do it all in one uh, fell swoop. So another plus for, uh, for Freud on doing that. While I was cutting out my uh, <laughs> monster cutter here, I noticed some writing on that and I checked on the other one. Check this out. On the back of the package, I noticed these little icons. This is for, this, these blades will cut wood, aluminum, um, metal, well, it's like steel, uh, and even stainless steel, but check this out, it gives, they even tell you the maximum, of course they tell you the rotation, but the maximum RPM um, for aluminum, they say 240 RPM, uh, for metal 160, very slow, which would be normal, and stainless steel down to 80 RPM, because stainless steel is even harder. Uh, really good little guide on the back of that. So when I'm reading this, I'm thinking, I've got a door <laughs> that I need to replace, um, and this will go through steel and wood, so it's a steel door that I have, so I'll be able to use this to go right through the steel and through the, the wood core uh, for installing passage and lock sets. So there's another purpose uh, for these little handy little bits. Well, and that's my overview of hole saws uh, and a bit of a review on um, the Freud uh, quick release system. And you know, I love it when manufacturers come up with new and innovative ideas and they allow us to use some of our existing materials without having to re reinvest in everything. And, and that's what Freud said, really, uh, really good ideas. So if you're in the market for hole saws or you're thinking about hole saws, now you know what they are, you know how to use them. Uh, and if you're interested in, a, if you already got them like me, and you're interested in a bit of an upgrade because you hate getting the plugs out, you might want to have a look at the Freud system. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.